The overall goal of this procedure is to study the interactions between blood and endothelial cells using a novel blood endothelial chamber assay. This is accomplished by first collecting blood from a healthy volunteer by open system venipuncture. In the second step, the blood is carefully layered onto heparin surface coated blood chambers coupled to endothelial cell culture plated slides. Next, these blood endothelial cell chambers are gently rotated to facilitate the interaction between the blood and endothelial cells. Ultimately, the cell-to-cell -cell interactions between the blood and endothelial cells and the resulting thrombin-antithrombin complex production can be assessed by immunofluorescence microscopy and ELISA, respectively. The main advantage with this technique over existing methods, like those using animal models, is that here a human model system can be used to investigate vascular disease. Before beginning the experiment, couple an 18-gauge hypodermic needle to a 2mm inner diameter piece of heparin surface-coated silicon tubing. The plastic surfaces are coated with heparin in order to prevent unspecific activation of coagulation. For example, in this image a clot is clearly visible in this uncoated chamber after 30 minutes of blood contact. Treating the chamber with heparin surface protects the blood from uncontrolled activation, ensuring that the results are due to the endothelial cell blood interactions only. After connecting the tubing, carefully collect a blood sample from a healthy donor by open system venipuncture into a 50 milliliter heparin surface coated tube.